My name is Mary Rose Stafford. I'm the head of department in the Hotel Catering and Tourism Department in the Institute of Technology here in Tralee. We run a range of courses here in Tralee from a higher certificate all the way through to ordinary degree, honours degree and masters. So we commence with higher certificates in culinary arts, hospitality studies, tourism with business and then you can progress on to degrees in adventure tourism management, travel and tourism management or hotel and resort management. And then we also run a master's degree in hospitality and tourism with the University College Birmingham. Hi, my name is TJ O'Connor and I'm a lecturer on the culinary arts programs and professional cookery programs here at IT Trilly. Our connection with industry, uh, we would have a very good both local, national and international links with um, many hotels, restaurants and catering establishments. Our students, uh, the complete programs would do work placements in these, in these um, establishments and also we have programs which actually working in industry forms part of their college based learning. So they might come one day a week to, co to college and carry out the rest of their training four days in industry within the IT. Hi, my name is Robert. I'm currently studying at the IT tree doing the High Certificate in Culinary Arts. Well, I originally was a builder, um, the recession hit and I lost my job. So I needed to try find a new career and I had an interest in cooking, so I decided to come back to college. We do a 70 30 split between practical and theory. We spend four mornings in the kitchen a week. It's a two year course from September till May, and then we do six months placement during the summer, then we do the second year, and obviously we go into the industry. We would have a lot of different nationalities, which, which in, in essence helps our programs because you know when you're talking about food, we're not just talking about Irish food, we're talking about international food, and different people bring their different cultures to the learning experience. Hi, my name's Nicole Mangan. I'm a second year student in Chile IT doing professional cookery. I had heard a lot about um, good information about it, about from past students I was talking to and how the facilities are great and the lectures always helped you and the class is like a big family so I decided to choose that and it's something I was always interested in. I'm hopefully go down for a few years doing chefing and then after that maybe starting my own business in catering or cake design. The age profile of students that we would have a lot of leaving search students so straight in from secondary school but equally we would have a lot of mature students who have considered maybe a change of careers or where it might be housewives who their children have left now and they want to come back in and study culinary arts or professional hospitality. And so we would have a range of students from different countries and different age profiles. Um, I like doing, working in the kitchens, actually getting my hands dirty, um, learning about different techniques of cooking, um, pastry, uh, service, it's all basically everything to do in the kitchen is the favourite part. Um, I'm taking the chef route, uh, hopefully working in the kitchens, so hopefully in two or three years time I'll be a qualified chef. So I would say first and foremost uh, presentable, secondly happy disposition, thirdly good communication skills and lastly a willingness to, to learn uh, and these difficult times customers want to be met and greeted and feel you know, welcome because we're supposed to have the Ireland of the Welcome of the Hi, my name is Ronan Doyle. I'm a lecturer in the area of hospitality and tourism here at the Institute of Technology, Trilly. The area I lecture in is the Higher Certificate in Hospitality. And it's a two-year program. It covers both the service side, the skills and competencies, and then also the theory behind the area of hospitality. The best thing about it, you know, it teaches you, you can do your job very well. Anywhere you go, people will respect you because you know what you are doing. That's the best thing about it. This year alone, like, we're doing a lot of cocktail making, we're doing flambing, things like that, other things like last year. Then we were working in the Brandon Hotel, making beds. We were cooking the, rest on, or cooking the kitchens in on a Wednesday, and we're in the restaurants Monday and Tuesday last year. Uh, you'll cover food and beverage, so you have your restaurant, your bar. You'll cover the front of house in terms of uh, reception and front office. You cover accommodation and also food production. So very, very practically focused in terms of uh, the certificate in hospitality. The lecturers are very helpful. I've never had a problem with any of them and they'll always tell you straight out what the problem is, if there is a problem. We accept the top 24 students' applications on any of the programmes. and the, On the Culinary Arts programme, we do take in 36 students, but on all the other programmes, we take in 24. And there is a good few rules and regulations in this course because of the fact we're dealing with food and serving it out to people, there's a lot of work and hassle. You learn that the whole way through your two years 
Um, you have to have your uniform clean, tidy, hair tied back. So I think we are being prepared for the big world. I love this course. It's something I would offer to anyone and tell them about. Um, it's done me the world of good and I can move on from this. So I'm really happy with it. I think students should choose Tralee because of the excellent facilities that we have for both culinary arts and professional cookery. Also the excellent industry links and the strong um, industry links that all our lecturing team have. There's always job opportunities in the hospitality and tourism industry, even in a downturn in the economy. And um, You can always travel all over the world and it's a skill that you can carry with you. And it's also a transferable skill. Not everybody stays in the industry. Some people move on to other industries, but the transferable skills that you learn in these programmes prepare you for business in general. Basically, the prerequisites for a programme like this, you do need to be a people's person, a team player, like variety in your day, and like to make people feel good. And the other advice I would give them is to possibly get a little bit of experience behind them, just a taster as to whether it is really for them or not.